Hello my triple triangles, it's your boy Zionic Blader, and in this video I will be ranking every Nilius core released in Bakugan and Geogon Rising from worst to best. I will be ranking them by their competitive viability in the Bakugan Pro TCG. But enough talk, let's get on with the list. Number 6, Aquas Nilius Core. This Bakugan has a poor core lineup of two shields, which isn't very good compared to the higher B power boosting cores in the game. Aquas Nilius has a stat line of 400 B power and 6 damage. With Aquas Nilius, you're going to want to focus on damage due to its high base damage rating. Unfortunately, shield cores can only give a boost of damage up to 1, meaning for Aquas Nilius to reach the 10 damage minimum we want for a highest damage wins play, it's going to need to use another Bakugan's Fire Fist or Helix core, which would have been fine if Aquas Nilius gave better cores in return to make up for it. In most cases, sharing a shield core is not worth it, which greatly impacts the competitive viability of Aquas Nilius, making it the worst Nilius on this list. Number 5, Chaos Nilius Core. This Bakugan has a nice core lineup of Magic Shield and Green Fist. Magic Shields are great to have since they give the best B power boost in the game. Chaos Nilius has a stat line of 600 B power and 6 damage with a reroll effect allowing you to attempt another roll once per turn for free. With Chaos Nilius you're going to want to focus on damage due to its high base damage. You are going to want to use another Bakugan's Helix Core or Fire Fist to reach the 10 damage minimum we want for a highest damage wins play. However, unlike with its Aquas counterpart, Chaos Nilius is worth the core share since in return it brings in a magic shield it does not need to use, making Chaos Nilius better. Number 4, Darkest Nilius Core. This Bakugan has a poor core lineup of Shield and Green Fist. Both cores known for giving middling amounts of B power or damage boost respectively. Luckily, Darkus Nilius has a stat line of 300 B power and 8 damage with a reroll effect. That 8 damage is so high that even when on the plus 3 damage boost in Green Fist, it reaches a nice 11 damage which is great for a highest damage wins play. It is a shame that Darkus Nilius doesn't have better damage boosting cores since its base damage gives it a lot of potential. Darkus Nilius also has a 3 cost diamond evolution which bumps its stats up to 1400 B power and 10 damage as well as retaining the reroll effect. For 3 costs to evolve it isn't horrible, however with Diamond Nilius maxing out at 1800 B power when on the plus 400 B power boosting shield core, which is a number quite a few Bakugan in base form already reach, it's not really something to go out of the way to include, however for 3 energy it's not too bad. Number 3, Aurelis Nilius Core. This Bakugan has a nice core lineup of Helix and Shield, with the Helix core being great due to its versatility in giving strong boosts in B power or damage. Aurelis Nilius has a stat line of 500 B power and 2 damage, with the effect of gaining 5 damage when on a Helix core, or 600 B power when on a Shield core. Unfortunately, Shield cores don't have a plus 400 boost for Aurelis Bakugan, meaning Aurelis Nilius is forced to use the plus 300 B power boosting Shield core, making it only reach 1400 B power, which is too low to be competitive in the Geogon Rising format. So, it's best to use Aurelis Nilius for damage since when on the minus 200 B power plus 5 damage helix core, with the plus 6 damage effect boost, Aurelis Nilius is at 13 damage which is great for a highest damage wins play. Number 2, Pyrus Nilius Core. This Bakugan has an amazing core lineup of 2 helix cores. It's always great to have 2 strong helix cores, especially when the Bakugan benefits from both of them. Pyrus Nilius has a stat line of 500 B power and 6 damage. With Pyrus Nilius you're going to want to focus on damage, with it reaching 11 damage when on the minus 200 B power plus 5 damage helix core which is great for a highest damage wins play. And number 1, Ventus Nilius Core. This Bakugan has a nice core lineup of Helix and Green Fist. Ventus Nilius has a stat line of 100 B power and 5 damage, as well as the effect of gaining a whopping 900 B power when on a Helix core. Ventus Nilius is a meta-shifting Bakugan, 
one of the reasons why the 1450B power stat that was once king in the Armored Alliance format became outclassed in Geogon Rising. When on the plus 600B power minus 3 damage helix core, Ventus Nilius reaches a great 1600B power while still being able to deal 2 damage, making it not only the best Nilius in this list, but also one of the best Bakugan in the format. Well, this has been Zionic Blader with my worst to best of the Geogun Rising Nilius cores. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comment section below and be sure to let me know your favorite Nilius core released in Bakugan Geogun Rising. Also, be sure to hit the like button, or don't. I'm not the boss of you, but make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya!